Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. Hope you're doing well. So today I'm doing a video for my friend Unfi down in Australia. He was asking about hot weather camping ideas, um, how to get like better airflow during the day and then maybe still a little warmer at night. So I've got my tarp with me. I thought we could run through a couple things. It's not exactly hot weather here in the Adirondacks, but that's okay. It, this is good to know. You know, staying cool is just as important as staying warm. That's typically what I'm more concerned with here where I live, um, staying warm, staying dry. But I used to live out in the desert. Uh, I spent about six months out in Sedona, Arizona. There was a really interesting dynamic between the day and the night. The daytime, it would get up to like 110, but it'd be like a really dry, intense heat. But at night, it had a very drastic contrast. It would cool off greatly. So it was a struggle to stay warm some days. It did teach me some things about hot weather camping and today we can talk a bit about it. So welcome to Endurance Room. So the first thing you really wanna consider is your location. Are you in a good spot that has the resources you need? And then is it gonna be secure from the elements, from the environment, from animals, from nature? Something that helped me with this was the five W's, which I picked up from Josh Enyart, Greybeard of Green Beret. And that is wood, water, wind, wigglers, and widow makers. The first two, wood and water, are your resources. You have firewood, you know, materials to build with. You have fresh water or a way of making it. And then you want to consider your protection from the elements, from the wind. Uh, rain, snow, whatever you're dealing with, it's going to be affected by the wind. When I'm setting up my open face shelters, when I'm setting up basically any shelter, I consider the wind flow here. It comes from either the west or the east. So typically I'm facing to the south and then the wind is blowing in front of the shelter rather than from behind it and coming into it, into the front. Much, much better. And then you want to consider the wigglers or any game animals. You want, man, you want to make sure you're not on a deer trail so there's no buck running through your camp at night or, you know, wild pigs. You want to make sure you're protected from insects, ticks, spiders, scorpions, cockroaches. <laughs> I camped out in Maui uh, for a couple of weeks and spent a few nights on the beach. Amazing, beautiful place. But on the beach late at night these cockroaches would come out it was so wild because i'd have my headlamp off and then i turn the headlamp on and just be surrounded by thousands of them they didn't bite or anything but it was and then last but not least is widow makers you want to make sure there's nothing dangerous hanging out overhead so you're not getting any rude surprises in the middle of the night potentially ending your experience here now, if you're out in the open, you wanna make sure you have protection from the sun. And that's how we're gonna use our tarp. So for our shelter today, I'm gonna to use my AquaQuest Defender tarp. And it's a 10 by 10 square tarp. But whatever you got, you could use a poly tarp. It could be square, it could be rectangular for most of this stuff. So with my ridge line, I just pull the tag out, it unravels, and then I grab the end with the bowline and the prusik loops, pull the prusik loops out of the way, and then I take a little stick, a little wooden toggle, and wrap it around the tree. So the bowline comes around, I make a bite, and put it through the loop. Then you drop the toggle through, and that will anchor your ridge line to the tree. And then when you're breaking it down, you just untie it and you can pull the toggle out and release it quick. So here's our tarp. I've got it folded in half. I've got one of the loops there, I'm running the Prusik loop through it. And I've got a wooden toggle, just drop that through. Do the same thing on the other side. And then pulling it tight. All right, so our first setup is a double layered lean-to. And this is something I picked up from Blackie Thomas. We've got our tarp 
fold it over in half at the ridge line. I'm gonna take the outer part and stake it down tight, making my lean to. And then we've got this inner layer. It's gonna give us some airflow in between the two tarps. So what we got here is a double layered lean-to. This is something I picked up from Blackie Thomas. He showed it a little while back and it was how to get out of the sun and having this double layer like this, the air space in between the two tarps helps buffer out some of the heat they would be collecting on the exterior of the tarp. So really great idea. And if you're in a hot weather environment, this is definitely worth knowing, especially if you're just trying to get out of the sun and stay cool in the shade. But what's really cool about this is during the day when it's really hot, you've got your open shelter giving you shade from the sun. But then at night when it cools down, you can just flip this out into an A-frame like this. Kind of a weird day for a hot weather video, but we're going to run with it. So if you'd like a bit warmer of a variation, after the A-frame, you could do a Forester's tent. And this is a personal favorite of mine. It gives you a good bit of cover on three sides. It's essentially an A-frame variation where you've got the same basic shelter configuration on the one side, but on the back, it kind of narrows down and closes off. And to do that, all you simply do is move your prusik loop from the outside of the tarp to about the midpoint or slightly about three quarters of the way. And then you can close off the back end of the shelter. It's really nice, especially for, you know, spring, summer, fall camping. It's a great shelter option. And if you'd still like to be a little bit warmer, what you can do is convert this into an enclosed shelter by dropping down this and moving in the two sides. Right on, it's pretty cool, right? We've got a couple different ideas to play around with and they all kind of flow together from the double-sided lean-to for the hot weather for protection from the sun. We've got that outer layer absorbing the heat and then the space between the second layer to help cool it off and make a nice microclimate underneath. When the weather starts to get colder at night, we can open that up into an A-frame to give us more protection, a little bit more cover. And then as the weather starts to cool down, we can convert the A-frame into a forester's tent. So right there, those are three really good options. And then if it gets really cold, you can just bring down the one side and make it a pyramid tent or like a cat's eye enclosed tent like we did today. So four options for basically one ridge line, one setup with one tarp. Now, if you're using a tent, there's nothing stopping you from combining your tent with a tarp. I think that's a really great idea. And that'll basically give you the same effect as having the double-sided lean-to. The tarp will give the tent some shade so it's going to be cooler on the inside. I know when I was camping out in the desert, it was really hot in the morning. Um, you know, we'd wake up and it's like 110 degrees on the inside of the tent. So, totally different environment than it is around here. But... Right on, everybody. I hope you enjoyed, and if you got any questions, just let me know down below. Unfi, I, I hope this helps, man. You're a good dude. We'll see you soon. Cheers.